I am back, y'all, and I'm so excited to be. Today, we're going to be walking through a cut tutorial with a lot of breakage. So let's get started. This was during my hair tour this year, um, 2022, and I have not seen my client in a very long time because, as you know, I am retired. So she came in, she had a baby, she changed careers. So this has taken a toll on her hair, not to mention she also has low iron. So with that being said, she had a lot of breakage in her nape area. And if you're not familiar with iron, iron, like if you have low iron, that can affect way more than what you could ever imagine, especially when it comes to your hair. If you have a low iron, you will most likely have breakage in your temples or your crown or directly in the nape. And she also wears her hair in the ponytails a lot. So that's another cause of it, as well as her not, you know, taking care of her hair as much because she is a new mom which is understandable as well. When you have breakage in the back or, you know, like a rough patch in your hair, please make sure that you're taking smaller sections because you wanna make sure that it's smooth, that it's silky like the rest of the hair and if you're trying to cut like do a detail cut you want to make sure the hair is straight silky and you know laid so i'm using my nano titanium flat irons y'all know this is my favorite straightener in the world to me nothing can top it and i'll leave the link down below to everything that i'm using Again, I am going in and taking smaller sections. This is key whether you want to, you know, try to cut your own hair at home, which I don't recommend, but you know, I know that some of you guys do like to just do your own hair and I get that. Or if you have a client taking smaller sections, especially in the back and especially when you're about to cut is key because I wanna make sure that I'm gonna give her her precise cut so that her hair can grow back thick, healthy, flowing and growing i do also want to mention which i totally forgot to say that we did wash detox her hair with my deep cleansing hair bath shampoo uh, we also deep condition her hair with my repair hair treat and at the end we're going to apply the serum this is all for my product line so yes she is freshly washed So you see what I'm saying as far as the breakage right there. Um, we're going to have to take her up a little bit. And she agreed to this. So please don't come for me in the comments. But this is what she agreed to do because she knew that her hair needed a lot of love. That's why she booked that full package with me to get a full cut. So with any cut, with any layering technique that you do, you always want to make your landing strip. Okay, this is going to be your guide for your entire haircut. I tried to get it in there as best as possible, but I'm gonna be taking about a inch and a half off for the layers because she wanted long layers. She did not want short layers. And the majority of her breakage is in the back of her hair. And being that we're going to, you know, cut a good amount off her length, she wanted longer layers which i told her was fine to do now you see the way i grabbed that and how that back started to fall that's how you know it's a lot of breakage back there but we're going to take care of that this is the way i was taught um, if you do it a different way, then that's fine. But this is the way I was taught. And to be honest with you, it's really, really easy to just give a basic layered haircut. Um, and I'm going on the sides here. Again, I'm following my guide from the top of her hair. And we're doing long layers. 
if you are in beauty school i understand that your educator may be teaching you something totally different but i highly advise you to just do what feels comfortable to you I really want y'all to understand that it, your hair type doesn't matter. Your curl pattern does not matter. What helps and what matters is what you're doing to your hair, your routine, the products that you're using, are they quality? You know, so this is why I stepped away from the chair and I created my product line, Healthy MF and Hair, um, you know, to just get rid of all that nonsense, all of that noise that was about, oh, well, I'm I'm ZB, I'm 3B, I'm I'm 9-7. No, this is what you need to do to have healthy hair. And many people don't even know about low iron and that it has so many, you know, health issues involved with it, including your hair. So again, I'm following my guide. I'm making sure everything is nice and even. And y'all can already tell that her hair just looks thicker already. Like it looks fuller, it looks healthier. And being that we're doing longer layers, it doesn't even look like we took off a lot, but I did take off about an inch and a half. Now we're gonna go into the perimeter of her hair. Um, sometimes I like to do this first, sometimes I don't. But when it's dealing with breakage, I like to always layer first. So now we're gonna go in and get the length off. This is the back of her hair. This is where the breakage has started and started to break completely off from low iron, from not taking care of her hair. And you know, from postpartum from her son, uh, like I said, which is understandable. So I'm just gonna follow this I'm gonna trim off a little bit because I don't want her to feel self-conscious about her hair. But I'm also letting her know during this entire time what I'm doing, how much I'm cutting off. Don't just go in and cut your client's hair without having a full-fledged conversation about what you're doing because you don't want her to be upset. You don't wanna be upset. You don't wanna cause any friction between the two of you because you are there to keep her confident about her hair and you can see that line right there well i can see the line so i'm just going to follow the guy remember follow the guy and like i said this is needed she needs to get this off in order to promote healthy hair and she was 100 percent down for it because she already knew but you see how the right side looks already it just looks so much better and you can see where all of that breakage was. I really should have brought my white cape when I was doing her hair, but I forgot it. So this is just gonna have to do. But nonetheless, the technique is still amazing and it still works. I want to know in the comments, how do you guys feel about letting your stylist cut off what needs to be cut off? Do you trust your stylist? Um, you know, have you ever heard of anything dealing with low iron within the hair? Like, let's have a full-fledged conversation in the comments. I really want to know because when I did a post on my Instagram page about low iron, they had no idea that low iron can cause so many hair issues. So I just want to know, like, have y'all ever heard of it as well? Let me know. This is just giving me like, relaxation vibes getting rid of dead hair to do an even cut is so relaxing so fulfilling and she was actually about to fall asleep while i was doing her hair this is the type of vibe that you want to give to your customers especially if y'all have built that trust you want her to come in there feeling good feeling comfortable and knowing that she's gonna walk out like a baddie with 
healthy hair and not hair that's broken off. So right here, I was telling her you could still put your hair in a ponytail when you go to the gym, but I don't want you doing that all the time. Make sure that you guys are being upfront and blunt with your customers. When I was behind the chair, people were like, oh my God, Ashley, thank you for being so real. Thank you for being honest and telling me because my last stylist didn't do it. This is how I feel. If you come in my chair, you're mine. Your hair is mine and I'm gonna take care of you, but I'm gonna also tell you what needs to be done. So right now I'm just doing a little bit of face framing and I'm over directing her hair uh, because again, she wants long layers and I want the front to match up with the back and she was totally fine with that. But you can just already see the transformation that is taking place since we started and her hair just looks so good. You could like, you wouldn't even, even be able to tell that her hair was broken off in the back. Always after you cut someone's hair to make sure that it's flowing right. And if it's flowing right before you even curl it, then you already know it's bomb. So I just use my barrel curlers and I just, you know, did like a little body in her hair. She didn't really want a lot of bump and I applied a small drop of my serum. So we didn't use any leave-in conditioners. I don't believe in that any heat protectants um my repair tree is a built-in heat protectant but i do believe in serums and shine mist so that's really all that we did and just look at how much shine her hair has how much body it doesn't even look like she came in here with damaged hair and we still was able to keep a lot of her hair and keep it full keep it thick keep it looking healthy and vibrant and she absolutely loved her hair let me know down below if y'all are going to use this technique in your salon on your home girl on your auntie or if you're going to try this on your own hair at home let me know don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for the next video y'all